Evening all, welcome to another ICC Banter Blitz. Okay, so it's about 9pm UK time, Friday night. Uh, I've got a load of challenges already. Uh, start off with... Uh, Evolution Robot, build oh, it. I'll Program. start off with muting that. <laughs> Pardon me, J. Russell 2. Uh, hi, J. Russell 2. Okay, D4, I'll play Knight F6. Okay, pretty solid. I'll um let's see. I mean G6. The resolution of my preview seems a bit weird. I'll put the quality to uh also. Odd. Okay. <clears throat> so this is a London system to start off with, with with uh, Knight C3 it seems, okay, maybe that's the target, to B5, B4, possibly, will the D5 immediately, I can try it, I'll try it. And maybe Finn Chateau here. There are some benefits, I think, uh, to playing C3. Mm. Okay. Can I do this? Let's play E5. Now, if Bishop H2, I think I will play E5 here to try and get this F4 marked. Uh, with the pawn, I'm hoping this is okay. If I can go into f4, and maybe if white ever takes there, then that bishop's opened up. Um, let's see. Oh, that's a piece, isn't it? I can take that. Yeah, that looks like a piece. Alright, thanks for the game, uh, J. Russell. Uh, JDM 1490. Uh, by the way, if you tried to challenge me last week on my contingency setup, I've, I've sorted that out now. Hopefully, we won't need that contingency setup this week. The internet's been, uh, it was a bit weird last Friday, but anyway. So, this is the Vienna game. Um, okay, it's not the most critical mainline uh, Vienna. Uh, possibly. I'm threatening f takes at the moment. Takes and bishop takes, and then if king takes, I'm threatening knight takes e5 check, and then knight takes g4. So that's just a relative pin to be aware that it can be um, released tactically here in this kind of scenario. So this might actually appear on the board. I don't think there's too much of a downside to this continuation. So yeah, the relative pin can't be trusted that much, <laughs> if this is the case. I, I'm hoping this is not going to backfire. I mean, it might be the case it backfires on me. Check. So I've broken that relative pin. Try and grab this bishop, which is actually uh, potentially a Check. tactical liability. I take here and I've got check. Queen H5 check to win the bishop. Check. That seems to be a loose piece. I know it's right thing like F2. Okay. 
Okay. I, I can try and stop him castling uh, by leaving my queen around. Maybe um, I could take on c7. Maybe I'll just, just take on c7. Although this is dangerous, he can cast on threatened queen f2. What am I doing here? That's a bit dangerous. Yes. Okay. Um, let's try and not get uh, mated. Queen g3. It's getting a bit scary. <laughs> I want to play d3 and castle one day. Bishop g5 and castle queenside. Now, actually, I've allowed rook c8. F d3, rook c3. The way I played this, it's a bit silly. It's unnecessary. Let's try and stop h4. Yeah, I've created unnecessary uh, pressure on myself here, huh? in the literal sense of my opponent's pieces having a lot of pressure. So can I play d3? Or not? I'm not going to be able to because I've got c8 now. Okay, maybe I can get away with d3. Maybe I'm hoping. So now rook c8, I think I've got bishop g5. Knight g4, I think bishop g5. I just want to castle queen side. I think. I just want to castle queen side. So let's see. Um, I don't think. What can the opponent do in this position? Although, yeah, he's a piece down, but he's got a certain amount of piece activity to be aware of. It depends. Can this knight do anything? Can the rook. Um, I'm getting bishop g5 in. Right. Knight f3 is threatened to win the queen. And if I play bishop f4, there's rook f4 if queen takes as knight d3. That's fairly annoying. In other words, if I play queen g5, there's knight g4 for queen g3. I could try playing queen h2 just to keep the queen protected, keep the pin on the knight. Now there's queen d4 for f2, and then queen g1, it gets a bit complicated. Maybe rook f1 is possible. Because if knight f3, rook takes f3 protects my queen. If rook takes, king takes, there's no check with the knight. So I think I'm going to try rook f1 here. If knight d3, I play queen takes d3, I don't have to lose my queen like that. I think I've got a few bases covered there. I'm hoping it's enough when I've seen and there isn't something else. This might actually help prepare bishop f4. Yeah, a few tactics there, even though the, the opponent's piece down, the piece pressure is not to be underestimated. So the simple bishop f4 there would have probably, with best player, I think rook takes f4. So queen takes, knight takes d3, c takes, Check. queen takes f4. Now here I'm hoping queen takes d3. Did look at this. Check. Okay, I'm hoping I'm not getting mates or anything. There's only one rook and queen. So, yeah. Uh, but in chess, is a cruel game. Chess is a cruel mistress, I think someone said. <laughs> That's so true. So, uh, yeah. So, but here, okay, it looks unlikely. Uh, uh, okay. All right. Thanks for the game. Asian, hi, Asian. 
Who said chess is a cruel uh, mistress? Someone. If you know in chat, please let me know. Uh, was it Ben Larson? Uh, this, my fam my most f favorite quotations are from Zavali Tartakoa. He he has a lot of witty stuff, especially about losing. <laughs> the winner of the game is is the person who makes the the next to last mistake. Is one of them. Uh, there's, there's so many. It's definitely worth checking out Totka for chess quotations. I think I'm friendly. No, I'm not friendly. Knight c3. There was queen e1. It's not as if I was checkmating the queen. Um, okay, I've left a, a square week here, clearly. Um. I'm hoping it's not the end of the world. Now this sometimes weakens that diagonal, so I'm hoping this I can stabilize d5 and try and make use of this diagonal later. F4 is further weakening that diagonal. Queen b6 is there's bishop d4, maybe it's attempt c5. I'll still play it. Maybe, maybe c5 is not so bad. I can play bishop e6 after. As a, as a more f4, there's knight e4 covering up d5 from the glare of the bishop. So I'm going to try and risk this move. f4, knight e4, just to cover up d5. For a moment, I can I can add some protection to d5. Uh, maybe with uh, rook d8. And this h file might be interesting later with h4. Rook d8 would have been um oh that's that's very interesting. Now if I take just to keep the bishop locked in, otherwise the bishop's gonna be liberated. If I take and I can play f4 to keep the bishop locked in from a positional point of view, there's no knight c4, bishop c4, the bishop's loose, so b2. This also gives me uh, bishop g4 now potentially. Or f3, knight f3. Is there some tactic there? Maybe bishop g4 f3 is dangerous. But that might this it's useful to have the pawn on h5 here. It's a nice hook. Yeah, I think I'll go for f3, doesn't it? Just squish the bishop in this position. There's no there's no retreat for the bishop. If knight f3, I'll just take here and I'm on f3. So I think I'm squishing the bishop. Quite elegantly. With the knight, bishop, and rook here. But he has got knight c4 as a tempo gain. I think I just moved my queen to c7. Check. Another c4 check. Yeah, pin. Check. Of some sort. Okay, I could take on e4 and let him take here. Yeah. I think I'll do that. So I'm pinning this queen. Exchange of queens. Piece up here. This is just double pawns when he takes that. Um, C2 is also loose. I can take on F1. Check. If he takes here, I'll play rook takes. Now, if he takes to the king, okay, he's not. I'll take this, take that, to go to g2. On route. Thanks for the game. As then. Okay, OM Ganesh. I'll play knight d2 here. I, I don't want to play the quick treat. <laughs> Cheap trap. I, I'm not. I'm not that, that in that sort of mood <laughs> to try and win like that, uh, which would be cruel if it did come off. Um, uh, so, on that note, a simple move might be knight f6. Uh, Check. I'll play the simple move and uh, just try and establish some control over this e4. That looks bad to him in that bishop. Actually, I mean he's giving him a nice square on e5, a comfortable looking position. 
I can do this with some cheap ideas, which maybe in in one respect are not that cheap. They you know cause weaknesses on the dark squares if I got in bishop b3 to c2. Because of that grip on e5, I'm not worried about this bishop coming out just yet. I'm a bit concerned about my pawn getting isolated. And also the subsequent knight b4. I'll play this in light of cd. If I want to play cd, uh, then I don't have to worry about knight b4. That seems a fairly standard idea. It's just a. When, when you've got the isolated queen's pawn to play a afraid to stop knight b4s, if you want this battery here to create some dark square weaknesses uh, when they play g6 later, um, if he's going to be in chess, that weakens sometimes e6. So sometimes you can probe, say, with bishop h6, and maybe even sack on e6 sometimes when they haven't. They've got a pawn chain like this. They Sometimes uh, it can be dismantled tactically with something like rook e6 later. In that regard, I think I've seen moves like h4 here just to whip up uh, the h file as well. I think I'll, I'll try that here if he wants to take that pawn. Uh, the downside of this, if I ever play g3 and king g2, this diagonal could be more dangerous for that bishop if it fianchettoed. But I, I might be able to get an attack quicker with uh, g3, king g2, rook h1. If I get some attack going on the h file as well, uh, this could be quite promising. Okay. Can I? I'm going to try and tempt him to play f6. Okay, I'll leave. I'll leave the status quo there. No, if he takes, he's got knight f4. That's the problem with that. That is a certain problem. There's knight f4 on the cards all the time. So this is. It's got its own nuances. This. Position for taking a knight f4 to play rook e2 and play rook e4. I'm not really sure about say knight f6. Hmm. Bishop c2 might be. Hmm. Bishop a4, there's a b5 or yeah, b5. The c file looks interesting actually. What if I just do this for the moment, non committal? Let's see, is he taking on g5? Let's also have a look at this knight e5. If he took, he just wins a pawn now, I guess. If I take on d5 here, is that interesting? I don't have the isolated queen's pawn. Hmm. Doesn't seem in the spirit of the position. So I'm going to play maybe queen d2. He's also got things like bishop b5. And I'm down a minute on the clock now. <laughs> this might be sneaky for queen h6 later. Every time I play bishop e7, he can play queen e7 and queen f8 on to evict the queen. All right, I'm going to try this. So any queen h6 has always got queen f8 to evict the queen. Alright, can I double rooks though safely without any knight f4? He's got a nice d5 blockade. Unfortunately, might I add. Uh, so if I. Um, can I double here? There's knight f4 coming. No. Oh. I don't like this knight. I'm gonna. T mm, I think I'm, I'm getting outplayed here. <laughs> getting outplayed. I'm gonna lose the pawn, aren't I, on h4. Yeah, I'm gonna lose the pawn. <laughs> um, without much compensation. Maybe, maybe there's rookie free to uh, h3. He might even have queen g5 there with a pin. And he's also looking at g2. So he could just take rook e3, queen g5 without any rook g3. He just takes my queen. Okay. Fun. 
Yeah, so you can just take this pawn. And he does. I'll try this anyway. Let's see. Maybe there's something else. Maybe there's... F3? Don't know. It's getting a bit awkward. <clears throat> Queen G5 F3. Actually, on Rook H3, there's Queen E4 looking at... Um, Okay, it's definitely getting awkward. At least I've caught up a bit on the clock. I'm just going to grovel the exchange of queens here. Just bring the king to the center. Oh, he's blundered rook. That helps me a lot. <laughs> Early Christmas present. Thanks. I need the help. After that. Okay. Thanks very much. Well played. What, why is Bard? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I was just getting outplayed. <laughs> Sometimes happens with with I state queen pawns. Uh, okay. I'll put a parking spot for my bishop here. Yeah, I'm tempted. It looks too much fun to pass off here, this activation of the rook by default. It's passed by that opportunity. Um, it looks comfortable to play bishop g4 here. I'm hoping it's comfortable to play that. There isn't a snag, is there? Anytime I play Queen E7, yeah, he can do this. I can do this now. Tying his. He can play Knight E3 to kick the bishop. Hmm. Check. Okay. I'll try and get rid of the uh, light square bishop. Maybe I should take with the. Uh, should I take with the pawn or the bishop? I think I should take with the bishop to keep a pinned pawn here. Queen moves, say, somewhere. Maybe I can take. And Queen h3 threatens. Queen g3 and queen h2. So queen g3 and queen h2 threaten. So it was good to keep that bishop pinning that pawn, I think. Oh, let's just make that. Thanks for the game. Cap red. Hi, Cap red. Um, I often play this. So there's this Nakamura hack attack line. I kind of like when you second the knight on c3. Is it the Foxwoods are open? Um, early in Nakamura's Kamura beat some GM with this Check. aggressive line, very aggressive. Right. 
I'm trying to remember what to do now. Bishop c4 seems very tempting. I can't see an objection to bishop c4. Queen's hanging. A check. Right. A check. Threatening rook takes h7 now, as well as queen g8. I think this worked out okay. <laughs> this this line, <laughs> small advantage I think here. So queen g8 or rook h7. Right, thanks. Okay, right. El topo. Uh, Topo. Uh, I'm going to frame check. this check, this disruptive check. The idea, if they play c3, I think the idea is just to stop the natural use of that. And I've seen Colson play this bishop e7 rather than the more mainline bishop c5 recently. I've been using this with some success, this retreat here. Because if you play here, bishop e3 threatens. The bishop already. If you drop it back, sometimes they just. Well, it's a different game with bishop e7 rather than bishop c5. But one of the main upsides has been carried out to get a pawn there and to avoid this knight c3 because that would be a comfortable d5 square on that semi open d file for white. So stopping that knight going to that very comforting d5. White wants to control against d5 as well sometimes for black. It can be liberating to play d5. So the Scotch game uh, increased popularity, I think, because of Kasparov actually in the Sinkfield Cup, the blitzes and stuff. He's been, he used it not, not in the recent one, the one before. Um, uh, these scotch came with, with interesting results. I think d5 is, is possible here actually. Talking about d5, it's trying to uh, it liberates this bishop with f4. This could cut down this bishop, it could lock in the bishop a little bit. Um, the immediate threat, knight e3, yeah, doubling the pawns, I don't think is a big concern. Also, bishop c5 is interesting. But knight e3 uh, immediately has to be addressed. <sighs> so then, see, say he does queen e2. I could play a check and then play rook rook e8. As long as my f7 is not a liability here, that tempo game might be safe to play. So, what if he plays queen f3? Maybe I can play check again and rook e8. Queen f3, queen f3, queen f3. 
I just need knight e3 for bishop g4. That's interesting. Knight e3, bishop g4. Knight e3, bishop g4. Knight e3, bishop g4. Knight e3, bishop g4. Queen g3. Taking off this light square bishop might be enough to justify knight e3. He has got queen c6 on the cards. Do I let him have this pawn? Maybe I do. So let's rewind this. What I said about bishop g4. Instead of queen g3, he could take here. Let's say he moves the rook, bishop g4, queen c6. Let's say this position. Well, here there's knight takes and bishop f2. I'll play that. Very forcing. There's queen d1 here. Queen g1. Get the queens off at least. Check. Exchange up. Check. Now bishop a6. Okay, he can win c6. Does he want to win c6? If I play rook e8, there's a check pinning the bishop. If king f2, there's rook f1, keeping the pin. Right here, f3. I mean f6. <laughs> f3. f6. f knight g4, h5. Okay. I'm going to take this guy. Right, thanks the game. G Murph. <clears throat> Murphy. Let's not play Queen F3 there. <laughs> um, let's drop this back. H4 and G5. If you have a tuk tuk, um, but Queen's protecting the rook against that one. So H4 and G5 just to push the bishop back. It springs to mind as an idea anyway, I'm not sure. Maybe he's got knight B4 for anything C3, maybe. Okay, I might have things like. I have to wait till it happens. Although that's usually a bad idea to wait till it happens. But I'm not anticipating. Okay. Um, let's put the bishop here actually because I think he can take an entail on c3. Let's put the bishop here so I might be able to get this g5 in without losing everything. Although, yeah, okay, let's try this. Try this. I want to keep the bishop. I mean, I want to keep the rook on on d file for a moment. I think I want to play king b one, just in case any e five and bishop g five is check. So the king's a bit safer from that diagonal at least. It seems solid enough. Hmm. If I encourage that for the C file, so a waiting move, stable waiting move. So he's got knight C4 there, and knight A3. That wasn't the stable one. No, that was probably a bad one. Knight C4, knight A3. 
I'm play Queenie wants to keep hold of the knight on C3 without knight A3. Uh, I was optimistically expecting for some reason knight takes. Can get rid of this knight. Now knight e three again. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take that and give him the bishop pair. It's a bit radical to stop any knight a3, but his knight's pretty good on was pretty good on c4 there. Um Yeah. Queen d3. Grovely. I think I'm going to take this. Mm. Now b4 for rook e4, so I'll stop with that. I want to play rook h1 to have some exploration with the rook over here. Rook h1 to h8 to g8 maybe. Bishops seem a bit squishy. They can target e4. There's knight d2 there. There's rook d4, there's king c1. Okay. Is it even worth playing rook h8 to encourage bishop c6 without rook h7? If bishop f8, rook h8 skewers the bishop. So I think I'll go with rook h7. This is just helping him, isn't it? Rook h8, bishop c6 is on e4. Alright, let's test this. Does he protect the bishop? Yes, he does. Oh, we got something going here. Not knight c6, he just takes. Uh, hmm. Rook h7 is pointless, it seems. Mind you, I'll play it anyway. It might not be entirely pointless. Any f5 you can take here, I can take on e6. If he takes, takes, there's g6 with that pinned pawn on f7 against his bishop. If you ever took on g5, g takes f7. So I think, in other words, f5 might be interesting. Is he really making it stable there? Hmm. <laughs> Can I put my king a bit towards the center? Check. Yeah, f5, I'll be feeding his bishop. His bishop's locked in at the moment. I gotta proceed with extreme caution, I believe. Here. In fact, e5 might even be a threat. Well, there's knight d5. While the king is on this diagonal, e5 is more effective. Maybe knight d5 will pick off the bishop there. With king e3, that adds not much stability. It's while his king's on b4, this knight d5 is handy to e5. If he wants to undermine my pawn chain with e5. If I get the king off the firing line, there's always another firing line on light square diagonals, but it might not be as severe. 
Why didn't I just play Rook here? Wasn't that winning a piece of those rookie seven? Okay. But there still sort of seems to get his pieces tied up. That was probably worth playing. Okay. That A4. Can I go for knight d3 check? A4, knight d3 check. Check. Do this anyway. My king d2 for b3 check. Right, I can play b3 check and then kick the bishop. Check. Oh, he has to give up the check. rook, of course. It was sort of checkmate, otherwise, was it? Well, that's good news. Check. Thanks for the game, uh, G Murphy. Ojaku. Um. Okay, is Ojaku uh Still late. Yeah. Okay, I'm still connected to the ICC, that's the key thing. Uh, I know bought this game, I don't know if he's ready. Okay, let's go on a free of well, there's no more challenges at the moment. Uh three minute. There's knight f four if he wants. Mm, he's got a pretty controlled position, hasn't he? Knight f four. He's even got h three after of queen f five h three. Yeah. Six. Can I swap off this bishop? Apparently, he doesn't mind that. I'm threatening rook takes f3 here and queen h2, or rook takes f3 and no, you can take it. Yeah, okay. I thought it was printing something else, but maybe not. Hmm. Take, should I take that anyway? That bishop, I wonder. doing with his knights can I double on the F file or rook g6 Bishop B eight coming up. Um, 
G5. Bishop B8. Probe over here. And if I slip in Bishop F4, Resist. This rook, rook f3 looks pretty strong here. Coming up. Take another pawn. Check. Was d3. Uh, I don't get mated just yet. So d3 is viable because the knight's holding g7. I want to undermine f3. Well, there's knight d4 on queen e2. What about queen e6? Check. I didn't see that. Check. 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 Time. Check. 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 some tough cookies on this horse pairing <laughs> even when I'm awake actually they are quite tough <laughs> I, I feel I'm vaguely awake I'm just worried about my connection all the time I hope the lag's okay is the lag okay now I don't know <laughs> let's play another three minute oh blow me mm. oh, it's, it's, it does seem a bit worrying uh, I don't know what they're doing all of a sudden on Friday people streaming movies or something around here <laughs> okay. Uh, okay um so anyway let's check uh, another three minute uh, uh. okay sort off Cautious start to the game. Mm. 
I'm hoping d6 is a liability at some point. Well, here, in fact, I'll just take on queen d6, maybe. Okay, he's got queen b6. Um, is the check lethal? That's the thing. Hold on a sec. Queen d6, check, and then rook d8 after. Am I, am I just going into a trap? Oh, let's just go for check. go with it. Let's, let's see. I think there's queen e7 and knight a4. There's at least knight a4 around here. Surely. Now if he takes her, I'll take the rook. I can get my queen back to a3 anyway. Okay, he's going to let me take that. Stop this B, B pawn. If I play rook d6, mm, maybe something better. Maybe c5 is dropping me off. Was that clever or not? I don't think that was entirely. Oh, he's got all sorts, like 92 for knight g3. Take this. All right, can I take that? Let's play this. I'll just take that. Now this rookie two. Can I stop rookie two? Is what rook d three? Okay, I'll allow it. Um, Check. Disposition should be something. going great isn't it <clears throat> and he's got 30 seconds on the clock can I play e6 when I get mated check Six seconds there. Fight two. Check. 
Check. Check. Check. I think I have to take this rook. I'm not enough time. <laughs> I'm checking. I don't know. I'm gonna take the rook soon. Check. Check. Oh, yeah, I can't do it with six seconds. Alico, Alico. Yeah, he didn't need to do that anyway. So it was a logical result. I think he was better. Probably. I don't know. So let's see. It was just the draw, yeah. He could have just given up his rock. <sighs> Alright, so I played b5, d6, and bishop g4. So knight d5 here, um, knight d4, I get to have a good position, I think. Then he's got the option of g4, of course, on knight d4. I'm trying to prompt something to happen here. This g4 could be fun. Let's use the G file. Queen H3. If he plays any G3, there's Rook G3 there. It seems to be crashing through. Uh, so I get that position back. Queen D7 for Queen H3. King H2 there. Uh, Is this with the idea of bishop f6? Okay, I'm gonna just do this. Now king h2. How would I proceed? King h2. King h2 seems to be the move. Try and double the rooks. Knight g5, oh, there is picking out the bishop, there's rook g5, but there's knight e5 picking out the bishop if he wants to pick out this bishop. Uh, but he's let me play this now. I think I'll just take that. He can take the bishop. He's pinning the rook. Maybe that's a good move. Oh, crikey. Let's get the king out of this. Uh, if I take here, that solves that problem. Queen e5. So knight g5, rook g5. Let's plunge this rook for a moment. Check. Okay. I keep his bishop hemmed in in the pawn chain. Um, isn't my bishop that I might be a pawn down here, but get a pawn back with bishop d4. His bishop's hemmed in at the moment in this pawn chain over here. Try and get my king over to b3. Check. Although I'll lose f6. Let's try and avoid losing f6. So 
don't think Bishop G5 is sufficient. Let's get that ready and waiting. Huh. Maybe, okay. It's a bit of a race between that and something else, surely. I don't want to give past the F pawn that quickly. Um, so if I take this out, I've got my A pawn. I've got Bishop G5. Maybe the Bishop can come here. Only Bishop G5 has got H4. So if I want to keep F6, this is real. King G6, Bishop E7, Bishop, King F7, Bishop D8. Okay, he hasn't done that route. Can I do that for a moment? Check. Oh no. It's taking out my passport already. Oh, I'm lost. I think. I'm getting to be lost. He's got Bishop D8 as well. It's starting to look completely lost. Can I draw this? <laughs> I'll try and draw this now. That's the only thing I've got going. I'll try and draw it. Well, it looks drawish, essentially. Well played, very well played. I'm going to offer a draw. Yeah, well played. Uh, underrated. It must be underrated, surely. <laughs> I would hope so. That was incredible. Okay. Um, let's play a three minute game. Reviser. Can I get rid of this guy? So I'm friendly bishop takes and rook takes. Okay, I'm holding h6 for a moment. Hmm. I didn't expect that one. Right, how strong is this? Just Check. take some bits off to relieve the pin. Even here, there's, there's Queen E6 could be annoying. Can I play for? Oh, he's got Queen E5. It's the immediate concern, not losing too much material. What about Queen B8 then? Just hold E5. Queen a7, queen e5, queen f2. Knight d5 could be nasty. Can I stop the knight d5s for a moment? Well, 
What about rook a7 and queen c7 just to hold e5? Was he just banking on winning another pawn? Rook a7, queen c7. So he's got a pass pawn. And he's got bishop h5 coming. Uh, I can't take your takes here. Bishop takes f5. He's going to get some squares, whatever happens. Maybe it's the lesser evil. Don't want to open up this diagonal. Oh, there's knight f6. This knight of six looks like I can't handle it, particularly. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm under too much pressure here. I mean, knight f six, I, I wouldn't be able to handle it. Check. Uh, um, mm. Try knight g eight. I'm on the rook. If if rook h8, uh, bishop e6. Actually, yeah, bishop e6. I think I'm getting queen d6. Okay, can I do this? Can I play king f8 on queen d5? Queen e5, queen e7. Check. 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 Time. Check. That's queen e1 here. He's not going to let me play queen e1, is he? Check. Check. Mm. Premium time. Pin. Check. 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 Check, check. Check. <laughs> it's exhilarating. I didn't think I was going to defend that at all. It was too much to defend and too little time, too many threats. But I don't know, something turned around there. He left this pin. I guess he imagined it was autopilot time, but no, I looked at that pin, looked at one of piece. Uh -uh.
Okay, he's trying to hack me to death, this guy. Mm. I'll take it. Can I play hat? This is. I can stop Queen G4, I hope. Check. Tuck my king and bed out of here with slippers. Uh, okay. Uh, if I play takes, bishop takes, I can take and protect the bishop. Do I want to do that? Maybe I just want to play bishop f4. That seems plausible to take on d4 though. Queen h3, bishop g2. So bishop e4, d takes. Protecting the bishop. If castles queenside, bishop g4 wins the queen up to f5. If castles kingside, well, to this the pawn's helping me it's defending for me can I just stop him castling queenside this check to force or encourage c6 um well, there's queen d4 here. Seems a bit pointless to encourage c6. Queen d4 seems pointless as well. I'm going to piece up. What about queen d5? There's. Mm, queen b3. Let's queen b3. Threaten mate or stuff, not mate, but the pawn. He shut down his attack basically. Um, this looks very cozy for my king uh, with his pawn there um, at the moment. Uh, let's take this guy. I think bishop b6 and I crawl around here, queen a4, queen a8, queen b7, that sort of thing. Rook d2, yeah, uh, queen a4, not queen a3, queen a4 to a8 to b7. And there's queen f7 as well, there's all sorts, queen f7. Oh, I'll go with queen f7. So he's got a problem with C7 type thing. I'll throw this check in then. Check. Isn't that just Bishop E3 to fork Queen and Rook here? Right. Oh 
Maybe I'll take that. Check. Here. Check. Pretty forcing, actually. Check here and then rook c8. Check. Right, thanks. Master. <laughs> Master. B E Y T. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Let's take me back to the film Porky's and Porky's Two, where they have naughty names called out at the cafe. They ring up. Ring. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to go into that. So. Uh, too much. Okay, so uh <laughs> is, is he got bishop h6 here? Am I in trouble with bishop h6 or am I gonna play knight h7 after? Bishop takes the knight h7. Okay. So, uh, uh, as long as I don't take here, I don't want to volunteer my king on a plate uh, with his active rook, etc. That could be dangerous. Um, although, I don't know how dangerous, actually. Maybe not at all dangerous. Maybe I can just take that. <laughs> I don't know. G6, knight I don't know. I don't know what's happening there. Am I, am I trusting you on something here? Can I not just take the bishop, actually? I, I think... I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't see the danger at the moment. If I just took the bishop. He's got to move the bishop, surely. Good. I'll just use this F4 square. Hmm. So I'm running knight g2 now. Take here Check. to get at least the rook back with his splintered king of that. Check. Let's get this. When I say splints, I mean pawn fractures. Queen d4 looks as though it was going to be dangerous. Right, I can hit this knight and play for rook a7. Right, I can threaten rook a3 here. You missed the frat. You missed the frat. Which is good news for me. Very good news missing that frat. I missed that. Okay. Maybe he's got a point. Can I play queen e7? How would he hold the knight if I play queen e7 there? Huh? 
Does he play Rook D7? Hold on a sec. That is possible he plays Rook D7. Um... If I play here, he's, I mean, he's, he's got other things anyway. Okay, it's not a big deal. What about Queen Hat, Knight C3? It's not a big deal. What if I just take on F3 for a moment? I'm going to take on H1, G4. Okay, we're munching each other's pawns. I should have maybe considered rook c3. Okay, I thought I was holding that. Alright, so I'm looking at his rook here. I think the check in Queen G1 looks dangerous for Rook B1 later. Check. Just to bring the king out. Well, I'm dropping E5. That's not the clever thing about this. Check. Well, there's knight c2 here. Or knight b5. Knight b5 looks stronger. King a4. Knight c4. Knight c3. King a3. Queen c1. So knight b5, king a4, knight c3. If king a5, there's rook b5. Check. If king a3, there's queen c1. Oh, I can't play that there. Queen g6 for queen a6. For a moment. Oh, I think I'm messing this up. Okay. I'll, I'll threaten this. I'm messing it up. He's got queen f5. I'm sure I missed the forcing mates there. I gotta defend my king, that's a constraint here. Um Okay, how does he deal with Queen A6? Does he get the Queens off for a moment, doesn't he? Alright, I can get this pawn maybe with rook b five if king a five. Check. Oh, he's got f six on the cards as well. I'll stop f six. Can I just use my H pawn? Crikey, I am still connected. Oh, I'm in the rook. Check. Right, he resigned. Oh, great. We've got lag at half an hour to go. We've got massive lag again. I don't know what's going on here. What does that happen? Um,
don't know. Um. All right, I got a challenge here. Let's see if it's possible to play it. I don't know what's happening here Friday night. It didn't used to be like this. Uh, I resigned. Um, Clearing up. Might be clearing up by itself a bit, I hope. It's better on my preview anyway. Okay, so King F7, uh, Bishop G7. And um, King F7 and Knight F5. This for knight e3. Hmm, pawns are dropping off here. Pawns are dropping off. Starting to look horrible, to say the least. Bishop C5. Oh, that's a nasty pin, isn't it? I think it's just got a winning pin here. I didn't put much of a fight so far. <laughs> uh, I got a check. check. Oh, and that bishop's still trapped. Oh, yeah, that bishop's still trapped. So it's pretty hopeless here, I'm afraid. I mean, this is pretty hopeless. Yeah, let's go on to the next one. Oh, Brainwood uh, was challenged. Sorry, not Brainwood, Brian Wood. <laughs> Brainwood, Brian Wood, Brian Wood. Uh 
<clears throat> I'm hoping to have something for the pawn. Maybe Queen D7 and Castle Queenside. Not giving me time for bishop h3 then. Maybe knight f4 and bishop h3 is possible. Knight f4 and bishop h3. On queen d2, uh, that casts some doubt on this. Just wondering about rook h6 to g6. Well, that could be dangerous. Depends. Maybe he's got a defense. Maybe he hasn't. So. Oh. Well, I think that's good news for me then. I've chipped away at his king there a little bit. Actually, I'm not sure I meant. To, <laughs> I'm not sure I meant to give that knight up. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> wow. Well, anyway, maybe it's a good idea. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. If Queen D two Bishop F three. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm sure it's a great idea. Yeah, in retrospect, I'm not actually <laughs> thinking about that knight, but this looks like a lot of pressure. Anyway, honest. <clears throat> Let's take away this check. So I want to play H four at some point. I don't want everything to come off, so let's do this. Okay, H4 here. Actually, the queen takes here. Might as well grab a lot of pawn while I'm at it. Okay, if I grab this other pawn, how many pawns for the knight is that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two pawns for the knight. It can't be that bad. Prospects of rook h6 to g6 or bishop d5. What would be stronger, bishop d5 or rook h6? I wonder. Um, anytime the queen moves h3 check and the bishop drops after. So he's got some difficulties. There's a check here as well. 
Do I just put his king back? Check. Just for rook h6. That looks decidedly dodgy. Can I not just do this? And then f5. Check. Well, this is, I'm going to win h1. Check. Check. I'm winning the house. Thanks for the game. Blaster. I have a blast with blaster. Yeah, I hope. So he defends somehow. Okay, I can probe here for more weaknesses. I think after h5, 96, the check win d5 after, it seems. That might be quite tempting. The other possibility of. Um, G4 is a bit weakening, uh, although tempting as well. I'll go with this. Because I'm wondering about this check in 95, there isn't the bishop h2, because I, I think there's enough support for this check. idea for 95. Queen H4, G3, Rookie 8, let's have a look at Rookie 8, or not yet, let's hold that centre. Okay, can I just uh, move the knight somewhere? Let's defend her. Let's see, queen goes back somewhere. H4 for bishop g5. Let's imagine queen d8, h4, rookie a. Maybe. Three there. Okay, I'll take the queens off here then. Right, that gives me knight e3 hitting g4. I don't see how he defends g4 in a hurry. Bishop h6 now threatened for winning the exchange. Let's just hold over here against g5, uh, I've got bishop g5 as well, it looks good, I'll play the rooks to the centre file and probably double rooks here. Play d5. Alright, this bishop c5 might be a concern for f2, but it's protected by the knight at the moment. 
Uh, there's also a bishop f6 to consider. Oh, he's got knight g3. Let's get out of the pin for a laugh. Let's get out of the pin. Can I kick this guy? I want that bishop off that diagonal. It's a bit dangerous for me. I can play b4. Okay. What about bishop f4? That's a nice h4 check. And I'm looking for not so easy. Okay, what about d6 then? Uh -huh. And bishop e7. Now I might be playing knight e5 here, attacking g6. Check. Soon. Now here, knight e5, rook takes e7. But then there's rook g6, so I think I might have time for this. So rook takes, rook takes, check, and I'll take. Thing to notice though is knight takes. Maybe there's rook f7 or there's even takes. Uh, I think rook f7 might be the stronger one. Yeah, this rook's slightly loose potentially. Okay, I'll take on g6 here. Check. And support the rook. He's going to take on e7. Right, I'll put that possibility back on the board. Now hitting the knight, rook f7 for rook e7. So I'm hitting this knight anyway. Check. Is it better to take with the rook? Let's investigate this or the pawn. The rook looks good actually. Oh, he's resigned. Okay. Thanks. Parallax. I'm not sure we played earlier. Hi Parallax, good evening. Well, in the UK, it's 20 to 11 now in the UK. I think knight e5 could be comfortable. Well, this looks reasonable, this position. If I can play. Um, Not f5 in a hurry. I want to keep my light square bishop. Uh, 
Actually, I think d5 there was interesting. If bishop d5 could take and then takes, yeah, d5 looks interesting right now. What would he play? Knight h4. Maybe knight h4. Okay, so it might not be that interesting. Let's carry on some more subtle pressure on e4. Yeah, so d5, knight h4, I believe. Hang on, isn't that queen e4? We could just take, actually. Okay, he can just take. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's just Check. try and resolve some something. I don't know. Put this here again. Try to clarify a bit. Could I be threatening bishop d4 and knight f3? Yeah. Right, d5 in this position looks plausible. Okay, there's no knight h4 now. Again, he can just, he can just take it. His knight's protecting the queen. Why do I keep thinking this? All right, all right, all right. Um... Bit stuck, really. I'm a bit stuck. I'll do this, hoping for some weakness to be created. Now maybe there's a pinned pawn here. Uh, I might be threatening this. Okay. Can I double behind that at least? Just double behind this. That seems a logical thing to do. Without lashing out just yet with c5. I could play d5 here now because the um, he's got bishop c7. I'll play it here, maybe d takes because of the rook situation. It's not this, it's the rook on e1. Um, yeah, uh, maybe. Be able to consider uh, e3. If I can consider e3, Actually, if knight f4, maybe the check. Right here, I could threaten knight f3. I don't think he wants to give up bishop necessarily. Oh, he does win that piece on d7. <laughs> yeah, taking so did look good actually. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> if we get the queens off here, do I avoid losing a piece at least? Yeah, I think he might have had bishop takes and rook takes d7 in the midst of that. Now 
is on this bishop and he's on f4 I can get tempo here I don't need the tempo check Okay, um, I'm trying to undermine. be a bit over to say the least mm, well played time warning well played. okay very well played yeah okay uh did we play nesmetanov this week not sure we did Play this because I think Bishop takes takes take I take on C six with check, so I can take on D four after. <clears throat> so I'm threatening the Queen now. This B4 looks a little bit dangerous. Maybe I can play rook B1, queen A4. Uh, and then rook B7, maybe. So queen A4, rook B1. Looks like uh, dangerous for rook B1, rook B7, potentially. Mm. Okay, I'll go here, looking at F7. Maybe Bishop E6 is possible. <clears throat> C4 here. So, all right, knight e5, bishop e2. Uh, 
Thank you. Do I get to play rugby one uh, pretty soon? I hope uh, rugby one. So I'm looking at B7 here. Okay, can I win the exchange? So DC bishop takes C4. Right, can I open up the C file? I'll play this check. Alright, so now um Queen B7 here. Ah, oh, thanks the game. Um there's not much time for another game actually. I think I'll, I'll just go on the uh, one minute water praying. There's about three minutes left, so we'll just do a couple of one minute. Thanks, thanks for all the challenges this week. It's like record number of challenges, uh, so thank you for that. Uh, if if you uh, like the stream, please uh, like, like, and welcome. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we'll finish on like one or two one minute auto pairing. Uh, okay, one minute auto pairing. This is a very silly system I've just played. Anyway, let's go over. Oh, Bishop F2. And my center's crumbling. I don't remember this happening before. Check. Oh, he's got C5 and D4, isn't this nice? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, trying to avoid getting mated. Um, oh, just allowed rook d1. Oh, he's got all sorts, actually. Crikey, he's got all sorts. I get the queens off just before getting mated. Check. 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 Huh. Time warning. Yeah, that's that's the old devastation. <laughs> uh, Check. I haven't got a queen eight, have I? I don't think queen eight's helping. He's got rook d8, unfortunately. Yeah, I think this is doomed. This looks pretty doomed, actually. Crikey. <clears throat> Try one more. Bishop a5 to c3. Maybe bishop b2 is dangerous at some point. Uh, or rook, rook a8 for a moment. And then, right, it's not open up there. Okay, let's see what can I do here. Um, oh, bishop d2 would have been good. 
I've just realized Bishop d2 would get would have got the Queen kicked out of that ah missed my chance would he come down with his rook for Bishop d2 oh, he's not allowing Bishop d2 now is he oh missed the shot there okay um Turn off. Time warning. Uh. Oh, he hasn't got much time for this, has he? Yeah, it's on time. Got him on time there. Okay, it's uh, 11 p.m. Um, all right, I think we'll end there. I'm just gonna see if it's right end here. I think uh, it's been a couple of hours. End of our little high there <laughs> against the FM there. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed this week. Uh, remember to like uh, if you appreciate it. Likes welcome and um, have a good weekend uh okay have a great weekend see you uh next week okay thanks so much <laughs>